And volunteers are now stepping in to help fight fires and even rescue animals as wildfires rage in Greece. The high temperatures there have caused almost 600 fires across the country. One government official is calling it a biblical catastrophe. ABC News foreign correspondent Maggie Rooley is in Evia, Greece with the latest. Overnight, red flames leaping into the Greek sky. More than a week of record heat fueling relentless conditions on the ground, sparking nearly 600 fires across the country. Volunteers stepping in on the front lines. Theodore tells us he spent the last four days battling flames with his company's truck. I am not alone. A lot of people here. This woman rescuing dogs left behind in the evacuations. She tells us they've been sheltering on the beach for days, unable to get home. Hundreds of thousands of acres across Greece now look like this, burned, covered in ash, and still smoldering. It's, it's heartbreaking. That's what it really comes down to. Jim is from California. His parents grew up on this island, and he comes back every year. Big difference is, I would say, the response. Um, response time. Um, California, the fire departments are getting help throughout other counties, other cities. Here in Greece, the response time, from what I'm hearing, it took quite a few days for them to respond. Countries having to adapt quick. That blistering United Nations report, code red for humanity, warning climate change is making extreme weather events like these fires across southern Europe only worse. And Maggie joins me live now from Evia, Greece. Maggie, vacation spots in Greece, they're just only opening back up now after COVID restrictions. Now they're shutting down again. So what's it like for the tourism industry right now? Dan, it is so hard for them. I mean, look behind me. This is normally a packed beach. You can see it's just thick with smoke right now. Earlier, we were getting rained on with ash. This is not a vacation zone right now. And as you say, many of these places had just opened up after the pandemic. People here, like all over the world, are struggling. The hotel where we're staying in uh, showed us their, their sheet at reception, and pretty much everyone had canceled. We're some of the few left in that hotel. So this is really hitting people hard. And you know, saw that one American we spoke to in the piece, he said the same thing. He said watching people leave this island on that ferry was heartbreaking. All of that revenue that is being lost for people that need it. I mean, this is paradise on fire right now, and it makes it just heartbreaking to see. And what are locals in the area saying? How are they reacting to all of this? Uh, yeah, Diane, well, first, they're just exhausted. Like you said, uh, they have been going through a tough time for more than a year. And now to have these wildfires, we're in day eight of some of these historic heat wave, the wildfires, more than 600 of them popping up across the country. They're tired. They're tired of battling and fighting back. But you did see those volunteers. It's been amazing to see people uh, taking it upon themselves to try to save their homes, uh, try to save their neighborhood and their families. So people really are stepping up, but they're also exhausted because the heat wave is going to continue at least through today and tomorrow. So as one woman told us, these fires are not over yet. Diane. Sadly not. Maggie Rooley and Evie agrees. Thanks, Maggie. Stay safe. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.